Hello, Teresa's back again. This afternoon, we're going to make a snippet roll, or part of a snippet roll anyway. And it's from the TV runarounds that we looked at, oh, way back at the beginning of the course, I think. A snippet roll is basically a length of fabric or a length of a uh, card that other bits and pieces snippets of of uh paper and card are stuck onto and sewn on or if they're card or paper they can be sewn but they can also be glued i did one in the smaller uh what i call beast in, in the little journal i did part of one and this is my fabric snippet roll and for the sake of the journal i mounted mine on card if you can see the card at the back i put mine on card and that was purely for the as i said to mount it in the journal um, normally I would put that on calico if it isn't to be seen or even on calico and then onto a fabric that is going to be seen but you could just run that along you could do it on a sewing machine or you can do it by hand slow stitch it on a strip of fabric here we have one two three four five little snippets each one measure on this one um, two inches square so there are, these are all two inches square and then they're sewn together like this to form a nice concertina it doesn't have to be a concertina it can just be a long strip of fabric so first one is um, all literally snippets from the bit bag now that's not coming out too well up there i've changed the camera so hopefully let's have a look see if we can get a better oh that's very big isn't it so this one here literally odds and ends from the snippet bag um tiny pieces of lace feather stitch and some beads a little bit of tie dye some fabric under the under the gold antique gold net and a little bit of my son's shirt here is the wonderful hessian and it just has stitchery on top it has a mismatch of straight stitch cross stitch i've no idea what this is it was just sitting there letting the needle go this way and that way um, beads running stitch and some lace and this here i don't know if you can see that here are just some threads that i pulled from the hessian in a bunch and secured on the front here we have similar a little bit of lace um, more snippets from the rag bag let me pull that there more snippets from the rag bag tiny bit of, of um, ribbon that's intertwined or woven in some lace on hessian as you can see i just love hessian it's wonderful once again no explanation needed stitches here running stitch herringbone running these are manufactured bits from an old net curtain a bead and here we have a few little chains to make a flower on net white net some lace odds and ends of some beading type sequin thing i found in a drawer cross stitch running stitch running stitch and they are so simple to make you can even make mobiles from them i have seen in a cathedral recently an exhibition and um oh there were several hundred of these tiny little things and they were all suspended uh, from a height 
and they look wonderful made uh, like mo mobiles and they they were act they were actually glorious They're in a crypt of a cathedral in kent and um the the whole thing it just suited the environment and it was quite wonderful as i said i'm into that word wonderful so i'm going to try not to say it this afternoon more than i have to so it's a friday afternoon today i'm going to pop that away and i thought this would be a nice way to end the week short and sharp and to the point now as i believe we looked at the snippets called i i call them tv runarounds because there's the sort of things that you can sit and do in front of the tv without much thought really the runarounds just comes from cross stitch run i couldn't think of what else runner runner bean and um, didn't seem quite right <laughs> so runner stitch runner stitch would have been good actually so anyway i've made quite a few of these and we're going to put some together this afternoon but before i do that we're going to start the making of a snippet roll just for the journal and don't forget the journal will be like a reference for you to look back on and see what you can do on a larger project the larger projects will be coming up in the future but for this for beginners it's just a nice way to ease you into slow stitching and to build your confidence up and this is a great way of doing it now as you can see this forms a nice piece of patchwork too if you put put it like that if the, that's better if you put it like that and then sew them together it could uh, form a quilt a cushion a bag you can pop something between these so they're not touching and have lines of, of lace there's so many things you can do but we're going to start easy this afternoon i'm just showing you these for a reminder those are tv run rounds commonly known as snippets now a lot of people will just keep sewing those together like this and just keep going and keep going and when they need something a strip they'll just take they might even cut along there or they might do these just an inch thick and when they need something decorative they can just take it straight from the roll so there we are that are those right to start this we'll do one so we're just going to start this and i'll take you through one and as i said this is a very nice task for a friday afternoon let me take that camera back that's lovely right i hope you can all see that so we have as always a calico base now i always use calico but you could use something else something you have around the house that you're not using that you're thinking of recycling a little bit of background fabric it's nice to have a strong fabric so that suits me the calico so that is the base fabric then we need a background fabric and i like this it's a silvery surface i'm not sure what the actual fabric is and i'm not even sure which is the right way and which is the wrong now i'm imagining this is the wrong way because it's raised but then I look at the back and I'm thinking, no, I think this is the wrong way because it's smooth. So, so that is really hard to work out. So I'm just going with what I like. And I actually like both sides. Oh dear. I'm going with this side. I like that side just slightly better and i have a feeling this is the wrong side so put the 
that's the base fabric and then the background fabric now your background fabric could actually be made up with tiny bits of a fabric for the background as in um, the crazy patchwork now if you look at this the background fabric is actually made up of offcuts of crazy patchwork there and all sorts of snippet that is not one piece of fabric there's the calico but the, ba the background fabric is just a mismatch of fabric but just this afternoon I'm using a background fabric so I'm putting the background fabric there and then I have a few bits here I have played about with these before and I think I put them this way and these are just off cuts from fabric that I've used in the past that are now resigned to my bit bag they're too they're too small for my rag bag so these go in the, the bit bag and they all go there and a little while ago I did have a strip of lace ah there it is I want the lace um, a ribbon I mean that I, and I might put that there and that there I couldn't quite work out how to do this that there right I'm going to turn that round and then you can see it properly on that hmm yeah I think that's going to evolve at the end and I also have this to put somewhere I'm not sure about that I'm going to see what happens how it evolves and I think that's best just let the idea take its its own shape if you like just develop so I'll stick that down there and choose right the colors that I've chosen basically are to contrast nicely with the colours here the pink and the purple to highlight around here maybe purple around there maybe green see I don't want to overthink this I'm going to jump in with two feet and take the green and just make a start around this shape here Ooh, did you hear that? that's my neighbour sneezing <laughs> she's got the loudest sneeze I think I've ever heard these flats are nicely soundproofed we don't hear Mark well don't hear anything really the only time I hear a noise is when she sneezes <laughs> bless her <laughs> goodness knows what she hears coming from this flat I do try to be quiet but I'm not naturally quiet and it's something I have to work at and my family the extended family I'm talking about now not just my children but I come from an extended family who are extremely noisy as well now I don't know if it's because my family are a London family and whether it's something to do with that I come from a, a Cockney family and although I'm not a Cockney my my family like my extended family mum and um, granddad and nan and bro her brothers and sisters and everyone the whole family came from the East End of London and um, they lived through through the second world war in london and eventually they had to leave because of the bombing but until then they um they lived in the heart of it all but they have that um, london humor i think there's a london humor perhaps all the big cities have a certain humor that goes with the busy way of life and my family have it and it is a really funny I think it's a really funny sense of humor to see the fun 
or the funny side of everything which can be an absolute curse I was always in trouble at school and later on in staff meetings the giggling at things that I shouldn't have been giggling at and I just used to have to say I'm really sorry I don't find this funny it's a nervous reaction <laughs> nervous reaction my my eye teeth it was so painful and I really don't know what that's about but I just think it's some sort of London humor be interesting to know if you know people who come from other big cities find they have a certain humor I know in the UK the Liverpudlians, people from Liverpool have a really cute sense of humour. When we go away, my daughter and I on our trips, we um, we go with uh, coach tours with a, a well-known coach firm and it's lovely, you know, it's safe, they go to wonderful places, we move about as, as a group to get from one country to another. But uh, we don't move about as a group when we're actually in the the resort, if you like, or the city. But I just love it. But we always know that if there are people from Liverpool or Manchester, the big northern cities on board, that um, it's going to be fun. It, because of their sense of humour, it is just hilarious these are lovely warm funny people I expect all countries have got something like that um, I'm trying to think now I think the Germans the Germans that I've met when I'm away in Germany I just love Germany I find they also the younger people I say younger people from sort of maybe 60 down even 70 down have this wonderful humor <laughs> and um, it's just so funny it's always nice to be with people who laugh uh, it just makes a nice nice atmosphere it makes life pleasant I think life can be too serious and if you can't laugh at it and laugh at yourself then um, you know it makes life difficult mind you having said that you don't always want to walk about laughing like some sort of demented clown that's not what I'm saying but I used to get really annoyed because you know, I like to walk about smiling and laughing but on the days when I didn't I just felt I wanted to be quiet today. I'd go to work or I'd go out and about and people would say, oh, look at you, miserable. And I think, no, I'm not miserable. And yet people who were miserable every day with their long faces, um, they, it was just acceptable, it accepted. And nobody said to those people, oh, you're miserable. But if, um, you know, as soon as someone who's known for smiling and seeing um, the funny side of life just fancies a day off, a day to be quiet and reflective and think, suddenly you're miserable. <laughs> they used to wind me up. <laughs> Cheek. And of course, when people know they've, um, ooh, They've touched a raw nerve. They do it all the more. Life's funny, isn't it? It's a great life. Not always easy, but it's great. See, look. I should play this back later and I should think, oh no, I'm taking that bit out. Oh, I can't say that. I can't say that. That's the danger really isn't it when you sit on your own in front of the camera and um, you're just talking aloud you don't realize that well people will actually be listening to this 
I shall censor it heavily. I haven't yet. <laughs> None of the, the videos have been censored. Right, now we're back to the beginning. So that is held down very nicely. Now this can can go round it more, can go across it like these. You see this the running stitch here, the slow stitch here has gone up and down and from side to side. But I think I'm just going to finish off this green thread. Waste not, want not, as my lovely, lovely dad used to say. And see, this is turning into seedling stitch, just tiny little stitches that look like seeds. And then I'm going to jump over to that side. It's surprising, isn't it, how far just a tiny little piece of thread goes. Now, that piece of thread, someone else might have thought oh that's not much that can go in the bin and yet I've managed oops Daisy I've managed to do a little bit more with that and if I can thread this I'll do a bit more but if not I can snip it off here because I've really I uh, see I've got different glasses on wow no problem threading that. Right, just finish off this tiny, tiny piece of thread here. A few seedling stitches. And all they are tiny little straight stitches. You just imagine tiny, tiny running stitches. And they're all doing their own thing. They're all going different ways. Got busy, busy lives. There you are. And that is that. So just right. So that is the first piece there secured. Next piece will be this, and that. I don't know if if that colour is being picked up properly, but it is rather nice pink and grey. There's a nice grey leaf here. And then there's pink and it's raised it's embroidered machine embroidered so i'm going to go around the outside like i did before with this piece just go around the outside with a nice running stitch now don't forget you can use many of the stitches that we've practiced before the, you could even put chain stitch on here. I might even do that off camera. Uh, feather stitch. I would use feather stitch the whole time. Have to be careful because once you get a stitch that you really enjoy using, um, I don't know about you, but I find it hard not to keep using that stitch. It becomes my preferred stitch and there's always the danger of overusing it if you can overuse a stitch but there are so many wonderful stitches to use now is that camera focusing i'm not sure it's i'm not sure i've worked out the focus too well on this yeah no, if i make it a bit smaller oh no i think that might be too small Anyway, let's see how we get on with that. Now this one will look good in lines or rows of running stitch. So down we go. See, we can bunch it up. A lovely long needle so we can possibly get to the end oh 
and bunch it all up and then pull it there we go all that on one needle right and then see lines use the pink up here so I could fill this one in with lines of running stitch you can put a smaller stitch of a different color between the lines to break up some of this pink perhaps a gray stitch I always think pink and gray go really nicely together well I'll use this pink up oh, I can hear a van out there it sounds like delivery van but I had my parcel from Amazon I'm trying to use the smaller high street shops but um, here we have a big Asda store which sells most things I think Asda is um, the UK version of Walmart I believe but I don't think that we get the variety that you you people in America get in your Walmarts I mean it's handy it's only at the end of the road right right call it one more row here it one more stitch now off camera I will probably pop a row of stitching between this row here you don't need to see me do that you know what running stitch is you know what I'm talking about so um, I'm not going to waste your time by doing that what I will do next though is put the lace I think I'm going to put the lace that way a bit skew withy don't want it straight straight can be boring can't it so I'm going to just put it like like that straight <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean and um going to sew that down the middle on the grey hang on a minute let's just have a look at this will that go on the grey no I think I'm going to pin, get rid of the grey that might come in useful later just going to pin this down and I'm going to couch it right we've used couching before So pin down the threads to be couched. That's it. And do the two, the lace, this braid to be couched, going to, to couch it right the way through to the background. Do it all in one go. So over oops off camera over behind through over there we're going to do that all the way down very easy very gentle for a Friday afternoon with the promise of a lovely weekend ahead 
Let's see about that though, the weather says. We'll just see. I'm sure when I was growing up, the summers, or well by now, this time of the year, would have been hot because we were th we would have been thinking about breaking up for the summer, you know, within several weeks or so. And everything would have started to have that end of term feeling and the excitement was in the air about finishing term and school holidays and the days were sunny and we didn't need our cardigans. I know they say, well, when you look back, things are rosier than they actually were. But I really don't remember this. I, from my window, I can see people out there walking past in their coats. Um, all wrapped up and it's more like a beautiful autumn day right trim that and trim that right so I'm not going to put this on this little black motif or a piece of lace I was going to put there but to be honest i think it looks hideous it unbalances the whole thing so i'm taking that off if i find something else while i'm sewing these together then i'll use them i'll use it now to do the snippet roll and i have one prepared here We're going to take three. Now these are just under three inches. Have a really nice one there. You see that one? That's my favourite. That's got a bead in it. Sequin bead. I'm going to pop that in the middle. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that one. Now to secure these together, I like it that way around. Just trim it off a bit. I'm going to line it up with the edge here and then I'll know it's nice and straight. So line those up. There you go, it's the start of our snippet roll. And I'm going to pin them, just pin in the middle. You put as many pins is in yours as you feel um, confident doing. You might want to fill yours with pins. You might not even want pins. You might think, no, I can do that without the pins. And then, now this piece here, this thread here, is just an ordinary piece of sewing thread. I'm using a strong sewing cotton. What is it? Oh, I think it's a Gutemann. The, the spool looks like a Gutemann, but I can't see... Um, the, the uh, labels are falling off both ends so a small running stitch all the way round now I'm going to go all the way round <coughs> excuse me all the way round the three so I'm securing the three all the way round now after I've done that I might leave it depending on what I'm going to do. If I'm not going to join them like that, then I would finish off maybe with a blanket stitch or a feather stitch. But if I'm going to join them, I would just leave it with the running stitch edge so I can later join these with a nice feather stitch something like that so I will get back to you and show you what I've decided to do but for the time being I'm just going to sew all the way around them to secure them then I'll have a look again to see whether I want to leave it like that for the journal or whether I want to make it slightly bigger for the journal okay so have a go at this it's so simple to do and it really is something really nice to do as well so 
have a nice evening and I'll get back to you as soon as I've done this I say a nice evening it might be morning where you are so have a nice day nice time whatever you're doing and most of all enjoy what you're doing and take care so speak to you later take care now bye bye and here we are as if by magic it's done it's finished so I did sew the three squares together I've mounted them on lace the reason I did that was because the background paper was so busy it was overtaking the design on these on these little squares so um, I put the lace down there to stop that happening there was a bit of conflict going on but the lace has worked really well and I think it um, it just gives it a nice balance but there's the one that I did earlier on and I have made a slight change to it make that a little bit bigger I have put hessian under the couching I managed to get the darning needle that's the the longer thick needle with the great big eye underneath there with two two threads or two strands of hessian so put some hessian there put some hessian along here I've joined each square to the other with a strip of of ribbon which I've couched down with herringbone here and just straight stitch here I added a few more cross stitches along here and that is it let me make that a bit no so there we go now bear in mind that these would be a lot longer than this if I can just move the microphone a bit I might be able to lift this up so you can see them all so that's that one and this one that we did earlier on so yes these would be a lot longer and um, there's all sorts of things you can do with them I didn't really want it looking too much like patchwork because it's not supposed to really it's something else but in these the snippet bands the lengths are varied it depends on what you have they're not regular like this so that is a difference so <clears throat> excuse me in another another um, time it might be nice to have a go at making a snippet with the snips that just come out of the um, the bit the bit bag just to see what we end up with but there you go another page finished I hope you enjoyed that and as I say these are tiny little things that you can do in front of the TV during your coffee break it really doesn't take that long but they're very satisfying and enjoyable so on that note I'm going to leave you here and have a good time wherever you are and look after yourself and I'll see you very soon take care now bye bye